<clears throat> everybody, my name is Mike Kelly, AnimatorForum.com, and I'm putting this video up to show one of our forum members who was asking how I constructed these arms in order to show the, um, to have a little bit of um, a line as the arm bends in the sleeve. So I'm going to show you that. This is done with smart bones, but I want to show you how the, how the arm's constructed. So basically, we're just going to focus on this, these arm parts. As a matter of fact, I'm going to get rid of all the leg parts and get all this other arm stuff out of the way so we can just focus on what you're seeing here on this one arm here. There we go. And get rid of the head. Okay, so basically what we see here, if I get rid of all of this, is I have I have an arm here. I don't even need the, the hands or the sleeves. So my arm here is, con is composed of two parts. There is uh, the forearm, which is down below here, and then there's the bicep, which is this piece up above. But you'll notice the bicep is, in the layers, it's below the forearm. So the forearm rests on top of that. So you can see the bicep itself is drawn like this, and it's perfectly circular around here, around these two points. If we zoom into the, the vertices here, and we click on this, we select the, am I on, I'm on the, I'm on the, on the bicep. If you see this, you can see that there's the two, the two points here, and then the, the, the third point of this, and this is a, a semicircle. So this is an exact semicircle. I drawn the, <clears throat> these arms are drawn automatically for me using my auto ray, but you could you can construct them yourself the same way. So that's the upper arm, and that sits down uh, below the forearm. So the forearm now is here, and we'll take a look at the forearm. And the forearm, as you can see, is again a semicircle. Let's see this. And if I click on that, you can see the points are right there and there and there. So there's that semicircle again. The difference is this semicircle is not lined. So these two line, lines are, are the outline is turned off on these segments. Uh, you know how to turn outlines on and off by clicking on the segment and, and adjusting the outline. So these outlines are off, and then the outlines for the biceps are on. And the reason that's that you want it that way is, if we turn now both of these on, you'll see that what happens is, because the forearm is on top of this, the forearm is covering up those uh, those lines of the bicep, see, with that with those unlined semicircle. So now, if I go to the bones, and I go to the bone layer, and I rotate the bone, you'll see that as I rotate the bone, it exposes the outline of the underlying upper segment. And at the same time, that, that line segment from the forearm is now coming into on top of that. So you can see it's coming in there and see, and that's, and that's how it looks creased. So it looks like there is now a crease for a, a fabric there in that way. And that's, that's kind of how, uh, you know, you want your arms. I mean, you, you don't, you don't have to have the crease and you can, it's easily to construct them without the crease, but this is the, she wanted to see how that how that crease was constructed. Now, by using smart bones, I can also control that as this rotates, that all these things change and that the crease can, you know, can go longer or shorter or it can actually get, um, get uh, defined more so that I can, I can make that point go uh, over, if, if I can explain what I mean. In other words, if I go to the, um, the forearm part of this, I can take this line here and I can adjust the line width and I can do this all, um, if I can figure out what I'm doing, I do this all automatically, so I don't actually have to, uh, where the heck is it? Anyway, wherever, wherever it is that, uh, that actually adjusts the width of that, you can, you can adjust the, uh, uh, I don't know where the width is anymore. I don't even do this. It just goes to show you how much I, I do everything automatically. Uh, stroke exposure, that's, that's not it. That's whether you can see the stroke or not. But anyway, you can, you can adjust all that stuff. Um, in the smart bone, and then as the bone is rotated, it will do all those things for you automatically. So that's uh, that's something you can have accomplished or not as you want. But that, but hopefully this shows this little. I just want to, don't want to show too much more than just show that that's how I construct my arms. Those two uh, two kinds of arms, and then that rotates around, and then that's how you get that crease and use smart bones. And then of course, because it's a semicircle, it rotates perfectly around so that you can bring your arm. All the way up and over onto that side, and, and notice that it, it still stays, you know, perfectly aligned. Now, sometimes during my auto rig, this particular point isn't adjusted properly here. So once again, uh, I can I can go ahead and adjust this so that as the bone turns, 
this thing comes down and lines up more perfectly with that. But usually, you know, in, in a longer view, you're not going to notice any, uh, any slight imperfections there, but you can do that too. So hopefully this explains everything. If you have any questions, feel free to write them on the forum, and we'll see you at animatorsforum.com.